Today we have a seated share workout. I am using a can-do squishy ball, we'll link in comments, but feel free to use any sort of playground ball. We do not need it yet, so let's tuck it behind your back or underneath the chair and begin with a march. If the march is too much impact on your lower extremities, just alternate heel lifts up and down. This workout will be perfect if you are feel unsteady on your feet, if you have limited mobility in the upper and lower body, or just feel like taking a seated workout today. Let's alternate reaching forward as we dig the heel. If you feel like you're not getting much range of motion, shimmy forward on that chair a little bit more. Dig that heel into the ground, big reach forward. All through these take your time now using those strong muscles on the top of the legs your quads let's lift and squeeze those leg muscles this will ensure that we have nice strong muscles to help protect those knees Now let's take it heel to toe, rocking back and forth between lifting your toes and lifting your heels. Great exercise for strengthening the calves and foot and ankle mobility. All right, let's grab your ball and get started. Sitting up nice and tall in your chair, let's begin with the side taps. We're gonna get this move down first and now reach away from your leg as you tap your toe out to the side. Ball reaches away. And if you wanna incorporate a little bit more core here, kind of tip and lean to the side. Good, pressing away. Shoulder height is perfect here or just a little above. Bring it down, shimmy forward if you need to, up nice and tall. Okay, once again, starting with those heel digs. Now up and press for four. Heel digs, four, three, two, one, and press, four, three, two, and one. Back to those heels, four, three, two, one and press. Now, if you need to go at a slower or quicker pace than me, help yourself. Continuing with that four and four. Okay, now working on that finger mobility. If you have arthritis, this is a great one to get some movement in those fingers. From the fingertips, let's roll the ball up to the shoulder and down to the wrist on the opposite hand. If your fingers are a little stiff or not wanting to cooperate, feel free to move it on more of your hand from the base of your fingers instead. Perfect, let's go ahead and go into that other side, rolling it up to the shoulder with the fingertips and down to the hand. Now from the heel of the hand, let's press and squeeze that ball, feeling it in your chest and shoulders as we tap the toes out to the side. Tap and reach. Continuing that press as you tap the toe out to the side. Now let's go ahead, bring the ball to your side, palm up, twist, press forward, palm down, palm up, palm down, extend the arm out to the front. Here we're working on wrist and also shoulder mobility and strength. 
We also are incorporating a few of those back muscles when we pull that elbow back. A slow rotation. Switching it over to the other arm, palm down, squeeze in, palm up. Row, turn down as you extend. Quick posture check, sitting up nice and tall. Sometimes as we get into our exercising, we tend to let that posture drop. But let's focus on being up nice and tall, not slouching, and if you can, back off the backrest. Bring it between the knees, squeeze in, and release. Release just enough so you can still keep that ball in between. Arms up, think goalie post. We are going to close elbows and hands, and then open the elbows wide. Squeeze in and open. So as those elbows and hands come in, we are going to continue squeezing the ball and release when we open the hands. Squeeze and release. Okay, let's sweep open the arms as we tap the toe out to the side. Transfer the ball in front of the chest when the hands come together. Alternate, opening and closing. As you open up, you're gonna feel the chest and shoulders stretch out a little bit. And then when we bring them together, we get a little bit of chest strengthening and shoulders. Let's bring it back in between the knees. Squeeze and extend one leg at a time, squeezing those muscles on the top of the leg again. To have nice, strong, healthy knees, we need to help protect those with the muscles surrounding those. So that is exactly why we work these muscles here. And instead of just kicking your leg out and forward, I really want you to focus on using those strong quadricep muscles to bring up that lower half of your leg. Let's bring that ball a little lower and do some seated core work. Hands on the hips, to your side, wherever you feel comfortable. Don't sway side to side. I want you to focus on sitting up as tall as you possibly can here. Apply that light pressure and alternate those knee lifts. Feeling it in those abdominals. Good, lift and slowly lower. Now let's bring that ball a little lower, right underneath the foot. We're gonna roll it out to the heel, back to the toes, as far as you comfortably can underneath your toes or underneath your chair. Right here, we get some knee flexion and hamstring action. So if we have stiff knees, it is so important to make sure that we continue to move those and not just sit. Sometimes we think that we might be more sore after a workout, which sometimes can happen, but usually muscle soreness. With the joints, it is crucial that we give them movement. Roll under. If you want a bit more hamstring action, just drive that heel into the ball a little bit harder. Roll the ball over to the other side. Toe under the chair, roll it out to the heel. A lot of people love this ball because it is so versatile and you can do so many different things with this, including some self-massage as well too. Okay, we are going to pick up that ball and we're gonna go press the ball out to the front. Rotate which hand comes on top, so pressing it straight out from the shoulders. I just noticed my legs are moving a little bit with it, so do not 
feel like you have to do that. I guess it was just a tick I was having at the moment. Abdominals, I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see this one, but stay facing forward in your chair. Make sure that you're not back up against your back rest. Lean back and press that ball up overhead. Think of like a chair sit up here. Wanna feel it in those abdominals. Lean back, sit up, and press. If you need to work harder, scoot your bottom forward in the chair enough so that you feel comfortable, but you'll have a little bit more range of motion to lean back and then sit up. Okay, now imagine you're doing this motion, but we're going to use the ball for a little bit of resistance. Squeeze those fingers into the ball and release. Another good one, if you have, you work on the computer a lot, you have some arthritis in those hands. Same concept as those knees. We still need to work them, even though they're sore and stiff. It will help a lot. Let's bring that ball onto the lap, drive the elbow down into the ball, but moving from the abdominals. So think inhale, lift, big exhale into the ball. Exhale, inhale, lift. Imagine those abdominals like an accordion. You're allowing it to come up and stretch out and then scrunching it together. Inhale, lift. Exhale, push down. Other side. Same thing, up nice and tall. And imagine like you're trying to touch your chest to your legs. Clearly that's not going to happen, but that's just the mo movement we're going for. Kind of rounding those shoulders a little bit. Squeeze and release. Let's apply just a light pressure here, going into a figure eight with the ball. Let's pause and go the other direction. Now you might have noticed already, maybe not yet, but I also like to add that cognitive component with some of my workouts as well too. Anytime we work opposites or together, combine the upper and lower body, we're also getting a mind workout as well. <clears throat> now let's hang on to your chair, ball back on the floor. This one is a little deceiving. Brace your core, tap one foot out while keeping the other one nice and light on the ball. Transfer, and as light as you can make those toe taps on the floor. Most of your weight we want to stay on the ball out and return saying as still as possible with your torso now let's bring the ball between the feet and we are going to scooch back in that chair and lift apply just a light pressure on that ball lift and lower, squeezing those legs so we're feeling it there and those abdominals. Now working on the rotation of those hips, rock onto the inside of the shoe, knee goes internally toward your chair, and we rock onto the outside of the shoe, open up the knee. Open up and turn in, rocking onto the inside of the chair. If you have really tight hips, they might not have too much movement on this one, so it's a good one to work on. Internal, rock on the outside, open it up. Close it up and open it up. And that is a wrap for today, guys. As always, thank you for working out with me today.